I run a small business. How can I leverage generative AI for my business? Yeah, look, absolutely. Look, Atonic, we are, we are a startup. We are a three-year-old. And when we started, we were small, right? In fact, a startup has more challenges uh, and resource constraints uh, than a small and medium business, right? And AI definitely can help you in many ways. Uh, so again, if I look at uh, you know different functions uh, for small business, I think the key is to uh, increase revenue, right? Increase awareness. So if you look at uh, see, technology is just a means, right? In the end, as a small business, you want to inc- you either you want to keep your customer happy, your employee happy, you want to increase your brand awareness, or you want to increase your sales, or you want to reduce the cost and increase the profit, right? So these are the levers. Now, what you could do is you could use uh, generative AI in your marketing, right, to help you uh, come up with uh, campaign ideas. You can use generative AI for segmentation. You can use classifying capability of generative AI to classify your customers so that you can have very targeted campaigns, right? You can use generative AI to draft emails. You can say, okay, for this particular segment, I would like you to write an email proposing, uh, you know, why you should buy what you're selling, right? You could use uh, for writing blogs. You could, uh, so this is more on the text. You could actually, so if you're in a, so there is a retail, a small and medium business, what they are doing is uh, they are using generative AI. Stable diffusion is one of the popular model where you give a prompt and it creates an image for you. So they are using for ideating different kinds of clothes. So they wanted to have a pajama with red dots there, right? And they wanted to see what kind of designs you could do. And traditionally, you would hire a designer to do that. But as a small and medium business, you can't afford to do that. So what you could do is you could use generative AI, uh, generative AI to give prompts and say, look, I'm looking at doing a pajama with red uh, you know, dots and you can give that specification and generative AI will actually uh, you know, uh, show you some of the examples and then you can use that to build the product. Uh, there was a, and there's another company called Mid Journey, which essentially uses prompts to design. And I, I did see one furniture company play around with Mid Journey to come up with sofas, which look, look like fruits. Uh, I'm sure they did not manufacture them because this was a recent phenomenon. But if somebody manufactures them and if they are cozy, I wouldn't mind uh, buying them and paying a premium. So, uh, so yeah, so marketing, product development, uh, uh, and even on the, like, if you have a nice little product, you can use generative AI to remove the background and you can say generative AI, can, I, can you put my product on a marble behind a beach? So you can use that. There are companies uh, using generative AI for that. Uh, you can use generative AI to improve your website. Right, you can use generative AI to write emails. Uh, you know, you can even ru- uh, use generative AI uh, to train your salespeople and come up with ideas. So, look, there is so much generative AI can do uh, for for a small and medium business, be it awareness, be it product development, uh, be it sales, uh, website, uh, right, ideation, uh, extraction. I think one of the big problem for uh, you know small and medium businesses is there is so much of information out there. And you don't have time to go through all of that. So you can always bring all that information in one place, have a chatbot to kind of have a conversation. So look, the possibilities are unlimited. Uh, different small and medium businesses have different uh, uh, you know, needs. But definitely with these categories, I'm sure you'll be able to benefit from it. Yeah.